Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Shadow of Dexel development blog. So, I've been working on the battles lately, which is basically all I'm going to be doing for a while, so that's exciting. So I'm going to take a quick look at this here, and I'm going to get chased by this enemy, maybe not. Alright, I'm going to go over here, and as you can see, now the enemies have varying HP levels and various stats that I can change on the fly. I'm still working on it. But I can actually destroy an enemy, like so, and each one can be different. I've been working on the system to make it flexible so I can have a whole bunch of different enemies on the screen and just being able to set their stats and stuff like that. So that's been the primary thing, and if I defeat all the enemies, now we have an ending screen, a victory screen type thing, and then you leave, and then it takes you back to the other room sometimes, but that's still a bit of a work in progress. Well, it's actually working, it's just uh, I was standing in a weird spot. I didn't get rid of the enemy in the overworld, so if you look here and it takes me back, I won't be in a battle again. It's just that I was standing right where the enemy was, so it was instantly putting me back in the battle. And that's been the main thing that I've been working on, is trying to make a nice battle system that's flexible and it works with up to four enemies now and I got stuck in the wall didn't fix that yet I've been really focused on the battles so basically yeah uh, it can tell if all the enemies are defeated and the enemies have different um, HP attack and defense and I plan on doing a couple more things like whether or not they're flying enemies or ground enemies and having attacks vary based on those factors so that's about all I've really been working on I want to really refine this battle system to a T before I move on to anything else. So it's just been a lot of under the hood stuff, but that's the progress that I've made so far. So I look forward to making more of these videos so you can see more progress as I make the progress. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.